653 time for the morning sprint happening at Madison City Council tonight alders are talking about banning tear gas for police the ordinance was introduced in June but it was referred to the Public Safety Review Committee last week they re-referred it back to Common Council the Dane County Chiefs of Police Association opposes the ordinance so does Wisconsin Professional Police Association we now know the identity of a man killed when he was hit by a car while riding his bike in Sauk County last week. The Sauk County Sheriff's Office says 65-year-old David Curto of rural Merrimack died after being hit by a car last Tuesday. He was riding along State Highway 78 when authorities believe he'd lost control and veered into the westbound lane of the highway and was then hit. The Milwaukee Public Museum is sharing renderings of the building it's planning to build to replace the current aging museum in downtown Milwaukee. Yesterday, the museum also launched a $240 million capital campaign. Groundbreaking is scheduled for late 2023. It will open in 2026. COVID cases, hospitalizations, and deaths all on the rise in the U.S. Johns Hopkins says average daily cases have now more than tripled in the past three months. Federal government data also shows current hospitalizations surpassed 40,000 for the first time in about four months. The average number of daily deaths also on the rise. They are now above 400 for the first time in two months. Parents and residents in Uvalde, Texas, continue to demand accountability after a new report detailed more failures by law enforcement during the school shooting. During a special school board meeting Monday, many asked the superintendent and the police chief to step down. Some say they're hesitant to send their kids back to school without significant changes. The Special Olympics torch making an appearance in Janesville for the last leg of the law enforcement torch run this week. Officers carry the torch across the state in honor of Wisconsin Special Olympics games and tournaments. The event raises money for the games, which provides year-round sports opportunities for more than 10,000 Wisconsin athletes. And just into the newsroom from across the pond, the UK Weather Office says Britain is sitting at 102.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the highest ever recorded there. The so-called heat apocalypse rages on in Europe where temperatures are 30 degrees above normal in some places. The heat wave has caused more than a thousand deaths. It's also sparked multiple wildfires. We're going to be pretty warm here in southern Wisconsin today as well. Temperatures starting out to the 60s and 70s this morning, but over the next 12 hours, we go from 60s and 70s to 80s and 90s. I'm looking at highs topping out right around 91 degrees today. We'll keep that sunshine around, but if you have been looking for chances to rain, look to the weekend. That's where our best shot for showers and thunderstorms comes our way. You think that'll release some of the humidity we're going to see this oh, week? I hope so. All right, Chris, thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning.